morning. Thought I'd come to you in a different form. But uh, I was given this recording this earlier, but obviously I'm still learning my equipment. But uh, what I wanted to kind of bring over was messages that I heard in the past couple of days and uh, it was coming back often through those couple of days I, I kept hearing like confirmations of it but the way that it was coming back to me wasn't really the way that it was giving out you know that I was hearing it God put it to me a different way so this is the way that I'm going to bring it to you the way that I received it to this is something that I believe will inspire, motivate, encourage, and educate our people on how to increase the God in us, how to develop, uh, evolve into the God in us. That's my. That's like the mission of my life. I want to let that God being just have its way and flow out through me into the world. So, the progress. This is about the progress of that evolution how is it happening how is it uh, working out to get to that point Psalms 1 1 says Psalms 1 1 says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So the, the, the main points I want to point out in this scripture is the words walk, stand, and sit. Those are the progressions of our life here on this planet. That is how we bring about the the, the, the fullness of God in our lives to walk, stand, and sit. Okay, the term when he say walketh in the counsel of the ungodly, walking, the way God is bringing it to my spirit to bring this forward is walking is a way of lifestyle. Your way of living, your your the way of thinking, your way of it's it's your way, just who you are, the daily activities. Okay, we know we don't want to walk in the ways of the scornful and the counsel of the ungodly. Rather, we're not doing things ungodly, un unseemly hatred, bitterness. We're not in those activities. So we're going to do the opposite and walk in goodness and kindness and love and peace and joy. We're going to walk doing right, being right. And, and that's a progress, meaning you got to keep on walking until you get to the point where it's your lifestyle. Once you reach the point that your goodness is your lifestyle, now you're standing. You're standing in the way of sinners. We're not standing in the way of sinners. Now we're standing in the righteous way because we've been walking in goodness. We've been walking in righteousness. We've been walking in love and kindness. Now it's your lifestyle. Now you're standing. Now you're righteous. You're standing. You know who you are. You know your, your direction you're headed in. You know God's purpose in your life. You, you've hit and missed. Now you're not hitting and missing anymore. You know. You, 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 you don't walked it enough to now you're standing in the way of righteousness. The next progression is seated. Sitteth in the seat of the scornful. We're not going to be sitting in the seat of the scornful. That's not our direction. 
Now that we done been walking in love and kindness and joy and righteousness, we just want to do right. We have to practice that. We have to keep on walking in order to get it to that point. It is not an overnight thing. This is something you got to keep on walking it out. We hit and miss. We make mistakes. We do this. We do that. We, 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 we fuck up. We mess up. But that's a part of walking it out. Then you get to the standing. Where all the foolishness, all the crazy thoughts, all the crazy activities. No, you're, in, you're standing now. You done been practicing. You've been walking. And now it's your way of life for right. For doing right. For being right. Now you're standing. Now we're at the city. Once you have been standing and you know your way, you know who you are, you know you you know the calling God got in your life. You 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 you've been you now you you you've been in that level to where you're standing. You you you're not confused anymore. Your thoughts is renewed. Your actions is renewed. You that's your way of life. It is you. You 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 that is who you are. In Him you live and move and have your being. Because you've been practicing, you've been walking it out. You've been standing on your word, on your uh, knowledge of God and knowledge of who you are. Everything is strong, solid. No more weighing to and fro. Anything to sway you, tempt you. No, now you're standing. So now, once you've been standing in that, you've been basically proven in your walk, in your standing. Now you're invited to have a seat. Sit. Your labor is done. Your labor was not in vain. Even the Bible say about Jesus, he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Now, and now you, your labor is done. You don't have to work anymore. Everything is, you, everything is prosperous, green, flourishing. You, 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 you're God now. In Him, you live and move and have your being. You think like God. You speak like God. Things are happening to you like God. Like, like that's what the benefit of this thing is. Once you're seated, when you say it happens, when you do it is, and when you, it's just God all in you, above you, around you, under you. It's God. Everything is God now. And these are some of the benefits of once we walked in that walk. Stand it in that that confession. We 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 know who we are. We know what we do. And now that we're seated, these are some of the things that's going to be happening when we're seated in this walk of of progression. It says, "But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth he meditate day and night." There you go. Once you're sitting, you don't think. You can't think negative anymore. You can't, you, 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 your thoughts are good. If you do get a nasty, crazy thought, it ain't gonna last for how long in your mind because you've walked that, you've trained that, you've brought that into subjection. You, you, you've renewed your mind. So you, your only meditations is good, day in, day out, all day. And if something stupid comes in your head, that is not gonna last longer than a Second or two, you going on about your goodness. So we meditating, mind renewed, all good. Some of the other benefits of when we're seated. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water. You're strong, you're solid, you're green, you're, 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 you're not swayed to and fro. You know once you speak, things happen. You're a tree planted by the water. You, you, you can't be moved. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. Things around you ain't deteriorating. Things about you is blossoming, blooming, growing. Things you take it, uh, adventure into, it keep everything just grows. Everything is is green, water flowing, trees green, fruit bearing. And whatsoever 
he do shall prosper. Whatever you do is prospering. Whatever you put your hands to turns to gold. But this is the, the progression. We can start off walking. You got to keep on walking. But you're walking in the ways of righteousness. Yes, we hit and miss. We fall, we stumble. We, we, but we get up and we keep on walking. Till you get to the point you're standing now. It's no more that wobbling, falling to and fro, mind, tempting, influence. It's no more that you're standing now. You know who you are. You know what you're about. You know what your calling is. And now you can sit. Everything around you is, is God. And in God, there is development, growth, beauty, love. I mean, peace, joy. Everything you touch is, is, is prospering. Nothing withering. No, nothing attacking, nothing influencing, tempting. I mean, we human. It may come and try, but none of it phases you. You're not even on that page. Your work is done. You know that it is done. You know that whatever is, it's all it's working for your good. So you don't have to get, oh no. Oh, no, because you've reached the point you can sit down. What you got to go hustle and bustle and sweat and talk? You've done that. You walked it. You stand, stood it. Now you can have a seat and rest. Even the Bible say again, Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. He, he paved the way. He gave an example. Now, watch all of us come into that. Who else? Buddha and all these other religious leaders.